Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be visiting my home country, the Philippines. So I'm going to be staying mostly in Manila, but I'm going to go to the provinces as well. I hope this video can help guide you travel the Philippines and Manila like a local. Hello world, welcome to the Philippines. <laughs> Thank you, salamat. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to give it a like, a share, and subscribe. And please be kind in the comment section. today yeah we're taking to the church of Padre Pio this church you see So this is a tourist destination, you see, National Shrine of St. Padre Pio. Your mom's going to be so happy. You're hungry? You want to buy something for your mother as a souvenir? Christian and things? Here, let's go to the church. Oh, mass is ongoing, so we can't film inside yet. But here, come on. Oh, let's go. Hi guys, welcome. Hi guys. Welcome to my vlog. Here, you see? Look. Stand right in front. Oh. So the mass is ongoing right now, so we cannot film inside until it's over. So your mom's going to be so happy because I've taken you to a church, mm -hmm. a cathedral. I think she's going to be so happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> next, next time you visit Montana, you can go to the church with your mother. 
This is Padre Pio, you see? Mm -hmm. It's Padre Pio. Padre Pio. We can look, look him up. Even though I grew up in this Catholic country, I'm not that Christian. <laughs> <laughs> not that Christian. But I like beautiful things. So you were saying? So I was asking him about this sign, because I saw it says, Our blessing. Our blessing. Well, in this country, we bless pretty much everything. Everything we do has something to, something re religious or spiritual into it. Mm -hmm. like, Let's just say you're buying a house, you're going to ask a priest to like bless your house. You're going to open up a business, you're going to ask a priest to bless your business. Uh -huh. I like what you saw earlier in the mall, like before they open, they pray. Mm -hmm. That's how Catholic this country is. Like you pray for like good business and good day, basically. You know what I'm saying? Not just to your establishment, but to everyone inside the room, entering the property. Mm -hmm. You get it? Yeah. Do you practice anything like that in the kingdom of Montana? Mm -hmm. No. It's not a kingdom of It's not a kingdom. <laughs> and your mother is the queen. <laughs> so this is the souvenir shop. They have umbrella in here. This is her, these are souvenirs. Look, Jonathan. My mom always liked to get one of these. Because people like to bring their bottles and ask for holy water mm -hmm. from the church. And what they do with the holy water depends on that. Some people drink it, some people, I don't know, bless things with this, with it. <laughs> it's the nativity. This is a book. See, it's, you see, welcome to the tropics. <laughs> Tropical climate. Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> uh, you found it easy? <laughs> Handmaid's Tale. No, what's that show you were watching again where they went to, like this lady went to a convent? Pushing daisies? Is that what it is? Okay. Yeah, she went to a convent and then she went out. Come on in.
Do you want to write your healing stories? Relics of Saint Padre Pio. We need to look. We need to look him up, though. It's another mess. Careful. <laughs> is mm -hmm. <laughs> and he has apps I know <laughs> my mom's buying it for you mm -hmm. what is it I know who you are it's coconut no it's sweet coconut here try it try it yeah here try it it's coconut yeah, Islam, salam. 
Give it to him. Here, hold it. <clears throat> My mom bought that for you. It's indigenous to this country. I don't know if you can find that in the US though. Salamat po, salamat. What do you say? Yeah, because it's coconut. So, another place we visited in the Philippines, well, as you guys know, the Philippines is a very Catholic country. So, definitely we need to like check. Well, we definitely need to go to a cathedral. And my mother and some of my relatives insisted on like visiting this place called Padre Pio. Got the full name, Parish of Padre Pio or something like that. And then yeah, I we visited the place. I decided to like take this guy. This guy's not very religious at all, but I decided to like take him with us so he can see like the beauty of the place. At least he can appreciate the beauty of the place. And hopefully we can take your your parents in there as well so they can pray. I know they're not Catholics, but at least it's, you know, they can see a religious place. That's why. What do you think of the place? It's nice. It's it's a lot more open than like Western cathedrals, I'd say. But yeah, because the Philippines is very hot and it's tropical, climate-wise. And then I don't know anything about Padre Pio that much. So this guy decided to like look him up. So based on your research, what can you tell about Padre Pio? Hmm? I don't remember everything, but mm -hmm. I mean, he's basically um, a little bit more mystic. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the belief that he had the, uh, what's it called, Strigmanas? What's it called? I forgot, I don't even know. Like the bleeding hand or something like that? Yeah, there's what? Strictata, strigmata. Stigmata or something? Yeah. And. Yeah. That, that sort of belief and belief he can keep. Mm -hmm. It's miraculous or something like that. Yeah. Mm hmm. Are you sure? Well, my mother's. How can I say? My mother liked to go to this church a lot. And especially. Well, I understand that like, she's being thankful as well. I decided to like go to this church as well and, you know, give my thanks, pray a little. Like, I practice like the Catholic faith, but I'm not that Christian, I guess. But I just decided to like visit this place just to, you know, be thankful for all the blessings I receive, I guess. Even though I don't go to church as much as I used to, but still I'm being thankful. That I was able to like, you know, be healthy, visit the Philippines and all of that. This guy's not very religious at all, so I just decided to like take him with me so you, you can appreciate the place. And I remember I was joking to him because... Is it the first time you see a nun? Or no? No, I'm pretty sure I've seen none. Okay, because I was it's joking passing. to him. Because I was joking to him because a lot of people, well, a lot of liberals in the US like if they see someone wearing clothes like that Oh, it's Handmaid's Tale, she's being oppressed and all that. No Because <laughs> I was joking to him Oh, do you think this is Handmaid's Tale? Like, no, she's not oppressed <laughs> And we went to this area as well and like there's this lady praying so we just decided to stay quiet Because <laughs> you know, we're being respectful to the place as well well, yeah, hopefully we can take your parents in this place as well, so they can pray. Is your dad very religious or no? Mm -hmm. Your dad religious or no? Yeah, they're religious, but they're not Catholic. I know, I get that, but they can visit the place just to appreciate, you know, it's a place of worship. I'm pretty sure I'm going to react the same way if let's just say I visit, like, a Hindu country, a Buddhist country, like, I want to see, like, a religious place as well, like, the... You know, I appreciate the beauty of the architecture as well and all of that and like the history behind it as well. I'm going to react the same way if let's just say I visit the Middle East and I visit like a mosque, something like that. Like, you know, I'm going to be respectful because it's a religious place and I just wanted to see the beauty of the place as well. Because I know in Iran they have this a mosque covered in mirrors and all of that and it's a tourist destination as well the same way in Dubai so I guess it's the same way for this place like it's a cathedral and it's unique 
with its architecture and it's really beautiful and tranquil as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like, a share and subscribe and please be kind in the comment section and see you guys in a future video.